Hi everybody, welcome back to Brailsford Family Homestead. Welcome to my entryway where we have turkeys. It is that time of year for us to get turkeys for my kids who show in the, our local fair with 4-H. One of my kids will be showing both broad-breasted bronze and broad-breasted white, and one will be showing turkeys for the first time with broad-breasted bronze. So we got them each an extra turkey just in case we have any who don't make it. So we have nine turkeys in here. Um, we usually brood them in a horse trough, but not with this many, it's just not big enough. And they can't go outside yet. We don't have like a heated building outside. And so they're inside <laughs> just for a, a few weeks. So we needed a new brooder and I thought I would show it to you. Unfortunately, we didn't get video of that. My husband built most of that. But it didn't cost us anything except for the price for these one by twos for the lid. Everything else was repurposed. Somebody gave us some huge yard sale signs and we used those plus some other plywood for my mom. So it is big and it is heavy. <laughs> I'll show you, but free. But let's, let's take a look at the turkeys first. Now I'll insert some other um, footage of the turkeys when we first got them. He just pooped in the bathtub already. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so curious. I was weeding outside, so I decided to have my daughter bring in some chickweed or and dead nettle, or I guess just dead nettle. So far, they're not touching it, but it would be there first. Have some. Oh, yep, there you go. We have to get our turkeys somewhere between the beginning of March and the beginning of April for showing the market turkeys at our fair in July. So we decided to make something with what we had. If you can see, I'm not having a yard sale, <laughs> but we were given some plywood as well as some yard sale signs for free. So we decided to use them. So it's overkill, obviously and quite heavy <laughs> that's some thick plywood we'll paint it later we did buy these one by twos i think that's what they're called <laughs> anyway to make the lid just because we didn't have enough but the brooder itself is 58 inches long i believe 32 inches deep and two feet high it's quite heavy we did put some uh, rope handles on the side we may put legs or casters on it later. We'll see. Right now, it's on my pallet bench. <laughs> but aren't they cute? They are 
The yellowish ones are broad-breasted white, and the others are a broad-breasted bronze. I think they're called Orlop bronze. Super cute. I love the sounds they make. And this is uh, a heat plate from Premier One. We never use heat lamps even for chickens outside. We have never had any issue. We have a small one from Tractor Supply too. I think it's Producer's Pride. They are a little over a week old. We got them when they were a few days old. We work with one of our local farm stores and we're able to order the things that we want and they get them for us. Great price, great service. If you were looking to come out, <laughs> I love their sounds. Just give you the little bit closer look. I almost forgot about the rope handles. Let me see if I can. It's my closet might be in the way. We did put those there because this is heavy with that thick plywood. But even if it wasn't, definitely make it easier to move around. So, and there's some, <laughs> there's some extra wood that is there because we didn't have pieces long enough. Just like here, we had to join it together. But it didn't need to be anything super special. Just big enough and keep them safe. Hi. They're so cute, aren't they? Now it's not painted on the floor either. I'd like to get a little piece of linoleum under there, but for right now, oh, don't you jump out. They can jump and fly pretty quick. Um, but we didn't have that. So I just put some feed bags down for now to protect it from any moisture from possibly the water spilling or, or their manure. But this so far is working out really well. And I'm happy about the amount of space that they have. They're so cute. If you're wondering why there is pink and purple <laughs> on those two uh, broad-breasted white it is because <laughs> my daughter has named them and she wanted to be able to tell them apart. Um, I know one of them is named Brenda. Oh gosh. <laughs> one of them is named Brenda. I don't remember the other name. We'll have to tell you that one later. I hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing our turkey poults. We really enjoy having them. They're a lot of fun and such a great experience for my kids showing them for 4-H, plus the meat that it provides my family and for us to bless other people with. If you have considered growing the turkeys for yourself, I highly recommend it. Both of these are a meat breed. They're not something you would have as a pet. They don't have a long life. They grow out fairly quickly um, and they get, they get big. This is now the first part of April. They were hatched the end of March and we will show them in July and butcher them shortly after. And they will all be over 20 pounds dressed so that, you know, you can, you can grow them out shorter times for smaller turkeys. But since we show, that's what they will be. But you, as you can see, you don't need some big elaborate brooder setup. You saw what we have. We, we try to do things on a budget around here, not just because it's fun, <laughs> but out of necessity. And so this, I'm really happy with this and it will work. It's not, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it's enough. I appreciate you watching. Um, stay tuned for more funny videos of these cool turkeys. I'll post some other things up here for you to enjoy. Until next time, God bless.